farm our manure. Blah, blah, blah. Um, farm. Um, so, hey, welcome to another farm food life. Today we're going to be spreading dung. Yes. At last, the fields have dried up. We've had about four days of dry weather, which is amazing. It's been about three months of wet at the moment. So um, I'll just flip you around in a minute. You can see what we're going to do. So yeah, this is our dung store. What we've scraped out, bedding, etc. Roland, V2 140, 14 cubic meter. We're putting that on the tractor. Just trying to get some of this out, which has just been building up and building up. So yeah, that's today's job. Um, let's hitch up and let's bash it out. Come on. Okay, so we're ready to go. It's hitched up. Handler's here. Let's go load some dunk. I thought we were going to get big tracks, lots of mud, but no, there is enough grass cover. Probably a bit too much really to be doing this, ideally, but um, that grass cover is providing quite a bit of help for covering our wheelings and that. So we're not getting the mud, we're good to go. So yeah, this, or most of this, hopefully go out today, which would be great. Right, let's go. splashback in their life. Okay I've just jumped out we're gonna have a little look see what we're doing here so only putting it on really light I want to get around a couple of fields with that so um, as you can see pretty thin it's not very easy to see on the camera lots of ground cover lots of grass um, but it is you know we aren't getting any marks at all it's ideal really it's the back of the spreader and if you've ever seen them there it just comes out these beaters rotate chucks it out bed chain on the floor moves it to meet the beaters and then you get that right i'm going to carry on now probably see you at the end of the day 
Uh, in case you're wondering what I'm driving today, it's a John Deere 6420 SE spec, so yeah, the more basic one. No cab suspension, which is a real, real one I miss, or the front suspension. Um, just inside, excuse the dog, it's got the power quad, it's a 1616. Um, yeah, we've had it from new, it's um, 2004 registered, and um, what's it done? 9,200 hours. Um, it's been a brilliant, reliable tractor. Um, I'd love to get another one actually to replace our other, the other tractor. Um, but yeah, I can't recommend it enough really. Excuse the broken light, let's cover that one up. Yeah, um, and it works quite well. It's a bit of an oversized stone spreader, but we go sensible. Yeah, the farm is relatively level. So um, yeah, we're not, we're not going up too many hills or down too many slopes, but yeah, it works well for us. Anyway, okay, uh, let's get the job done. There's still loads to do. So yeah, it's not the cleanest dung spreader in the world, but you know, what's the point, really? Um, it's in pretty good condition. I just had a look on the plate. It's an 04 model. So yeah, it's 15 years old. Um, we wax oil stuff and then tend not to pressure wash it when it's like this, but it's actually growing a nice bit of lichen leaching, whatever you want to call it. Quite a few hours later now. Uh, we're still going. It's getting down, it's getting down. I'm getting back there now. Just wanted to finish this really, but I'm um, not sure I'm going to be able to. Got a message on Instagram, because I've posted this on Instagram uh, that I was spreading today. So um, someone asked, um, are you not in NVZ? And the question is, yes, some of the farm is in NVZ and um, how come we're spreading in that case. So um, this is really well rotted, as you can see. It's been here a long time. Um, FYM, farmyard manure, straw bedding that's come out of the loose house cattle, um, like the fattening cattle and the growing cattle. It's got a low nitrogen content, under 30%, which means there is a small exemption in that case for organic manures that are under 30% nitrogen availability um, that's what this is um, I said to him a quick kind of guide would be can you stack it over a meter high so as you can see that is over a meter high so it's a good indicator that there's a lot of straw in it therefore meaning that it's under 30% nitrogen availability hope that makes sense just wanted to explain a little bit about why we actually spread this dung. So um, basically we're trying to complete a nutrient cycle from things like silage, grazing, um, cereal crops coming off the land. The straw bedding is bedding the cows, which then comes in here when it's dirty, take it out the sheds, stored here for this kind of time, spreading in the springtime. It's winter now, but you know, to really re take back those like nutrients and that we've taken off the field through grazing and like I've just said and um, just returns it to the fields where it came from really so we're getting a close cycle of take and then replenishment and um, I think that's probably the most sustainable use we're going to get of kind of the products on the farm and what the farm produces so yeah that's really why we do it this stuff is not too bad actually it doesn't smell too bad at all um, yeah, I'm sure the wife will tell me something different when I get in, but it's not, it's not like in your nose, it's not full of ammonia, it's actually not bad at all. Yeah, I hope that answers your questions on that one. Hey there, it's about 10 days later after spreading the dung. I thought I'd just come out in the field and um, show you a little bit what it's looking like now it's kind of aged and uh, washed in a bit. Let's just have a look around, you can see, Barely made a mark, so I'm really pleased with how it went. Considering how wet it's been, the uh, the lay, the grass lay has really held it and not left any damage. So I'm really happy about that. And um, if we just take a look at the ground now, you can see you know it's rotted away really well. There's a little bit of straw left. Grass has got a bit of a tinge of yellow as well because it's been very wet and there's any kind of fungus forming it could just be a bit of crown rust or something on that. But nothing too 
important, nothing I'm going to worry about at this time of the year. So yeah, that was it really, just wanted to show you a quick kind of before and after and uh, that's what we're looking like now. Okay, cheers! Just wanted to say thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, hit the like button, press the subscribe and ring the bell and then you'll know when I'm releasing my next video and you can take a look at that as well. So thanks for watching and yeah, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.